Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to look at Carnegie. It finally arrived, it's been a while, let's see what's inside this really large box, heavy box. And as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I continue to grow my fan base. This is a heavy, hefty box, that's for sure. Um, and although it looks really nice, what a waste of opportunity to have this on the back. Sorry, that does nothing for me. It doesn't tell me anything about the game. It doesn't show me the game. It's like, I don't know, maybe this is the luxury um, bonus pack. I mean, I did get this as a pre-order. Um, I didn't really kickstart it, but I pre-ordered it. But I know that about the game because I played it online um, on uh, Board Game Arena. I see it, but I mean, you really can't tell anything about this. So that's a mistake, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary, of course, in my opinion, though. Especially since this game has some great artwork. It looks really fun. I mean, whatever. Okay. So, as we open her on up, what are we going to see? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, nothing inside the box as far as artwork is concerned, but we jump right to the rule book. The rule book has a papery finish. Um, what I mean by that is no like glossy feel or anything else. It's definitely flat um, paper, and it kind of has that a little bit of a old timey look to it. Now I really hope these rules are pretty easy to learn. I actually learned them. Uh, kind of hobbled through it, so to speak, to play it a couple times on Board Game Arena so that I knew I liked it. Um, so I know how to play the base game, but there was a lot here. This is not an easy game to learn. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of rules, which is fine with me. But what I'm a little concerned about is m managing the actual Automa when the time comes because the solo rules, um, a lot of that was kind of done by the... Uh, the actual board game arena rules, if I remember correctly. So this will take a little bit of doing. I'll have to figure out how to do that. But at least they give me an icon reference and a turn reference, so to speak. Uh, once you get the mechanics down, the mechanics themselves aren't too bad. It's it's more or less all the Nitnoid rules you have to figure out. So this also has an expansion with some extra buildings you can build and those components. Different donation tiles. And that information is right here. All right, and then some optional rules. Okay, so there's the rule book there. We have um, notepads here. This looks like the, um, I don't know, they say a new beginning, one player auction. So I gotta figure out how this actually works with this. I mean, I'm assuming it is the, um, a score sheet but i'm not exactly sure how that works okay let's bust into the components here the artwork is very sharp i know that from just looking at it they come in these nice tile boxes which is really um very handy i appreciate that you've got these um interesting ways to show like your investments and they're double-sided here um and so i think that's a really cool mechanic how they did that and then you have a tile here, um, some <laughs> very shiny money, which is kind of cool. So you got the, a couple of ones and a 10 right there in your deal. And then some screen printed components that look very nice. The artwork is very good. The little meeples aren't screen printed, but that's okay. I like the just the symbols on the uh, different discs and everything else so very cool big fan of the way this game looks and again i knew that because of the experience i had on board game arena so that kind of got me going so you've got the four different player colors right here and all of them have the trays which is very handy okay i'm gonna open those up because we know what we got after looking at them all right then we have our player boards. So these are very, very thick. I'd say this is ultra thick cardboard. 
And that's because they have to support those things that go in there, those side tiles that they kind of come out. And I really hope, and I think it'll be okay, we'll find out, that these don't have warp. They don't seem to. They seem to be sitting all right. So we have four of these, one per player, okay? <clears throat> and then we have the, um, I think this is the action, basically like the action board where you put stuff down and it kind of, that's how you take your actions in this game. You move things over. Here's some more tiles that go to the outside of those. Ugh, mine's got a smidge of a ding there. I'll live. Okay, then we've got some tiles for the board itself. So you get the Midwest. And this is, okay, so these are the ones that we're going to randomize. I was wrong about that. That is something else. That's for the buildings, I think. These are the things that you randomize and put uh, down in different orders. And I think this is how you kind of set up your, um, kind of your board for taking actions. I believe that's what that is. I've got this very nice metal train here, which looks pretty cool. I'm going to guess that is the first player marker. Coolest first player marker I have ever seen, in my opinion. So that's cool. And then inside this box here, so we have the board. Which I'll, well, let's do the board here right now. Take a look. So this is going to be, I think, a six-fold. Yeah. So there's the board. It's single-sided. Whoops. Um, very functional, but I like the artwork, too. You know, they could have made this drab, uh, but they didn't. I, I think it just looks it just looks fun to play, right? You've got all the different icons here. These things are color-coded nicely. You have some artwork here for the, um, you know, different donations you can do. Overall, I think they just did a good job here. Uh, they could have, I don't know. It could have been a little more drab, but I'm glad they didn't make it so. Then... We have, ooh, the, one of the thinnest little game trays I've ever seen. This is holding our buildings here. So, carefully get this out. Looks like we have two of each building, as far as I remember. All right. And these buildings have nice, sharp artwork. They look pleasant. They are uh, easy to read and understand. Um, so they look like office places, office building kind of tiles. And then we have the... What I'm going to guess is the expansion, but let me pull this out first. We have a bunch more money. Okay, so we've got the tens, the fives, and the ones, which I think is really kind of cool. They almost look like Andy's mints, um, you know, with that shininess. I hope they don't co come apart. We'll see. They are thick cardboard, so they may fray, but hopefully they don't. Then you've got some nice large wooden blocks and some smaller ones. So... We also have these icons, which are, these are like our, our different action markers that will slide across the board as we go. Plus, this heavy feels like metal. It is Metal Gear. Maybe this is another first player. This is something else, not first player marker. Can't remember what that is, but it's something, obviously. Okay, and then inside here we have our deck of cards, which we'll get to here. I'm get, I think these are all for the expansion. That's what those are, and you can kind of replace um, these buildings with ones that you want. They are two of each again. So there's a bunch of different ones in there, as you can see. I did get the card sleeves included. I think that may, I don't remember if that was an option or what, but there they are. Um, and then we have some of these, which are, um, I can't remember, honestly, what these do. They may be differences from, I don't remember. I don't remember. Sorry, folks. Might be part of the expansion, might not be. But that's what I'm looking at. Overall, very sharp. Let me take a look at these cards real quick. Pardon me. I really like the uh, the artwork. It does present kind of a nostalgic uh, 19th century kind of feel to it. Maybe it's 18th century. Gosh, I don't Or I'm sorry, 19th or 20th. I'm not exactly sure. I should bone off on the history a little bit, but... Alas, I don't know, and I apologize. I'm pretty sure it's early 20th century. Um, anyway, so here's the... Uh, th these do have a um, texture on them. 
they are pretty high quality. I will sleeve them, obviously, um, but they are nice cards. The texture is good. They're going to go uh, pretty easily through the hands. No issues there. All right. So hopefully this was informative to all of you. Whatever you do or uh, play, pardon me, in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Thank you very much again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.